A God day, gods and goddesses. It's me, Elegant Soul Food, the Consecrated Nature Baby. I missed you all last week. I hope that this message finds you all safe. I hope this finds you all well. I hope this finds you all with some hope and peace in your mind and soul and spirit. And most importantly, I hope you're paying attention. Today, <laughs> uh, as you all know, what I want to talk about, what I want to say, what I have to say are two different things. And um, just get your freak on. Get get your freak on. It's been in my head for so long. Um, and that's what I need to start. And this is going to be the beginning of a series about get your freak on. You don't need a telephone to reach people. You know, for those of you that know me on other levels, I've been saying the word for 2022 is towers are going to be falling all year. Towers are going to be falling all year. It's going to be exposed. A lot's going to be exposed. In astrology, towers falling means um, higher learning and liberation and sudden changes. And it's going to be happening. And if you're not watching the world news, if you're with me in the United States, I would encourage you to watch world news more so than your local news. Um, and just kind of put things in perspective when you do look at your local news to see how it's all coming together, how things are sudden changes. Change happens constantly. Every time you take a breath, that's change. But... um the changes that are happening are sudden and abrupt and it's uh, bigger than people. It's a spiritual thing. So part one, how can you be reached? What's your frequency? You know, the phone, cell phone, business phone, email, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. That's not the uh, only way you can be reached. That's not even the best way for you to be reached. How can you be reached? Is it only by technology? If that's the only way you could be reached, then you need to get your freak on. Fifth Dimension Clan. We don't need a phone to contact each other. We never have. How many times have you said, I thought about somebody and then they called? Or I thought about this and then it happened? Or that's deja vu. All of those are signs from the universe to help you tap into your frequency. Technology is an imitation, a cheap and easy way to contact and to vibrate with one to another. And they charge us to be lazy freaks, F-R-E-A-K-S. They charge us to be lazy freaks when we're actually given dominion to be frequencies because we that's what we are. That's what we have and that's what we are. So I challenge you to vibrate higher now, don't get religious on me uh, and putting what I'm saying in perspective. I challenge you to think in solitude about what I just said and understand that the universal language, the universe language, is found in math, physics, and geometry. This is why when you look at the ancient civilizations, they knew things without having quote-unquote modern-day technology. So what is frequency? Frequency is peace of mind. Frequency is consistency and clarity. It's sharing and it's helpful. It's delighted. Frequency can remove addictions and chaos patterns in your life. Now, with that being said, we're going to get to the messages and see how that lines up. First, we're going to do the goddess deck. The goddess deck is to check the energy of what I just said. What's the energy message for us today? What's the energy message for us today? What's the energy message for us today? Take all that. I can't 
can't take all that. Or am I supposed to take all that? <laughs> take all that. I can't take all that. Can't take all that. That one. <laughs> Mott. Giving and receiving. Is that not what we're talking about? Frequency. Giving and receiving. The goddess Maat. Maat. And the frequency number is 10. <laughs> you can see that there. The frequency number is 10. This is for my gang gang that sees 10 10 all the time. This is for you, baby. All right, what's the energy behind this goddess? The Egyptian goddess, and, and actually Ma'at is a spiritual principle. There's 42 principles and laws that goes with Ma'at before the sake of this deck and the reading. But it's so appropriate. The goddess of giving and receiving from Egypt. The element is air. That's Aquarius, uh, Gemini, Libra. The goddess Ma'at represents alignment, truth, and balance. Her name means order. As her father, Egyptian sun god Ra, rose out of the chaos, rose out of the chaos and put her in divine charge of justice. The symbol of uh, Mahat is often seen as a scale. And in this picture, she's actually, her body is the scale. Um, where the heart is on one side and the feathers on the other side. And at the end of uh, all of your work and all of the things that you do, uh, is your heart lighter than a feather? That's how you will be judged as a woman or a man or a god or goddess in this plane. Uh, the Maha guidance is to reset your harmonic balance. You are out of alignment. The sacred scales command you to give and receive. If you receive without giving, you are selfish and out of alignment. If you give without receiving, you are stuck and out of alignment. Embodiment. Give and receive is a spiritual law and spell word. Give time, money, service, resources, and good vibes. If you are a generous giver, cultivate a practice of receiving. Receiving is sacred, feminine, and it's a principle that makes many uncomfortable. Receive compliments. Receive joy. Receive support. Receive pleasure. Receive friendship. Receive money and receive love. They are all the same spirit. The declaration for this goddess is, I give easy and freely. I receive Easy and freely. I receive freely and easily. That was powerful. And it's right on time. That's powerful. I hope I hope you caught that. Um, just recently, somebody tried to give me some money. And I kept on saying, no, 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 no. That's okay. I don't mind. And the person checked me. It was like, either you take this money or we going to fight. And it made me think about back in the day uh, when I was a, a small child in a Christian church. I asked somebody for uh, change for a dollar so I could buy a soda out of the vending machine. And she just gave me the money. And I said, no, just let me give you a dollar. Just give me a dollar. And she said, don't you do that. You stop doing that. She said, when somebody tries to bless you, take it. And I thought about that when this person was checking me. I'm like, here I am all these years later. When people try to give me something, not always, but sometimes, I'd be like, no, 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 that's okay. I don't mind. It is good to give and receive. And it's something else that person said to me. She said, well, let me put it like this. If the shoe was on the other foot, who would be there to do for you what you just did for me? And she, I said, well, I guess you'd have to fly in time and do it. She was like, exactly. She said, take it. So... When you know that you're giving, and you know that you're giving, you don't mind giving. You're supposed to also receive. That's part of that process. And um, what the heart was saying about the frequency of all of that. The frequency, let me read for you again. She said it's all one and the same thing. And that's why I tell y'all every week when I come here, when I talk about 
the frequency of love, when I talk about um, financial literacy and how we're on our journey and how all the attributes of being chaos addicts and that kind of stuff, how it blocks you financially. That's what I've been trying to tell you all this time. And this just puts it all in order. Receiving is a sacred feminine principle that makes many uncomfortable. Receive compliments, receive joy, receive support, receive pleasure, receive friendship, receive money, and receive love. They are all the same spirit. You get that down in you? Go on places, baby. All right, what do we need to do on our journey? We got the energy. What do we need to do on our journey? What do we need to do to get our freak on? Get our freak on. Lighthouse. Lighthouse. Your lighthouse guides you home to the stars. Frequency. Your lighthouse. You are a light. You are a frequency. You are energy. Your lighthouse guides you home to the stars. The number here is 4343 breaks down to a seven. And a seven is the uh, spiritual number of intelligence. All right. Let's see what this says. At your lighthouse. You are home to the stars. You are eating, entering a very auspicious time right now. The symbols, signs, and nudges you've been getting from the universe are calling you forward. Sometimes they're gentle. Sometimes they're more jarring. All say... This is what you signed up for. Get on with it. Trust your dreams. Know deep in your heart that you have a destiny of greatness here to fulfill. A little voice inside may be saying that you did make this whole thing up when you get these frequencies, these 10 tens, these three threes, these four fours, these one ones, all these mathematical symbols, um, six, six, six. Am I making this up? Am I seeing this everywhere on license plates? My frequency is catching on. The universe is speaking to me. Well, what if you did? Does it matter? All the stories we tell each other are ones we created anyway. So why not make your life story a mythic tale? All along the way, you have been a beacon calling you. Call All the way, you have a beacon calling you home. A cosmic catalyst. What ongoing sign or symbol is a lighthouse I can look to for guidance home? Here's your checkbox. Use your non-dominant hand. So if you're left-handed, use your right hand. If you're right-handed, use your left hand. Use your non-dominant hand to write the last three signs you have received. And if you know it, they're greater meanings. For example... The last, let's say, let's give an example. If one of the last signs that I saw was the number 222 or the number 1010, or um, I felt like I met somebody and it was my first time actually meeting them, then I take my non-dominant hand and just write it down. What that's doing is forcing you to think. And it says, write down the meaning if you know it. What that is doing is focus, helping you to speak to the universe and helping you to focus in on what that message is. And that's a great exercise, especially if uh, you struggle with trying to hone into your frequency. That's a perfect exercise. I really dig that. All right. Financial literacy is Money Monday. 
It's Money Monday. I sure looked at my EFTs after last week. I looked at what EFTs I had in my retirement as well as my other uh, investment accounts. I did a little bit more research and sure enough got a message about uh, safety for your money during these times. And you know, you got to find a good financial advisor or uh, analyst to follow. You can't just listen to highlights or see somebody on Facebook telling you what to do or look at a tweet from Elon Musk and then start riding. We don't have the same scenarios as Elon Musk. You got to deal with your lifetime and your reality for right now and uh, until you flip your frequency and get on with something different, some higher vibrations. All right, we're taking up time here. Ha <sighs> ha. Questions for a potential financial advisor. We're going to have a financial advisor series coming up. But here's some questions. Are you a fiduciary? Only a fiduciary is legally obligated to act and act in your best financial interest. Also, are they in your state? If you're going to relocate or find this person online, do they have the ability to work in your state? Uh, what are your qualifications? Ask about the education, professional designations, and experience. Like the one I told you about I had worked with. He flipped my money four times in four years, and this was after the last recession um, because he had been doing it for a very long time. Actually, I had a couple. Uh, there was another guy uh, that you know did comparable work for me prior to that back in the 90s. How are you paid? Seek a fee-only advisor who doesn't earn product commissions i challenge you to look up what that means product commissions because there's agencies that are con there are people that are con connected to companies and agencies where there's uh commissions based on how much you invest with them and through their company so work on understanding that at a deeper level what revelation uh what relevant benchmarks will you see Know what success looks like for risk and returns. How will money be allocated? Understand the product risk and alignment with your goals. Do you have a short-term goal, long-term goal? For now, you might want to ride the long-term goal because the recession is just getting busy. How much will I pay in fees? Small difference make big impacts over time. So... Be guarded with that. Questions for your financial advisor. Uh, thank you so much. And as always, um, get in between your temples. Not in between your ears, but get in between your temples. We are the root cause. Look at yourself in the mirror. Education and financial literacy challenge channel for elegant soul food the consecrated nature baby and as always i love you see you next time